Another vision. You saw it too. They're growing stronger. Well met. Together. Let's hope Magni has some answers. I hear no one's seen him for a few years. He'll be there. He has to be. Magni, we've been trying to re... If this is about the visions, I'm nae interested. Leave me alone. Azeroth needs its speaker, and so do we. I got no counsel for you, no advice. Sometimes destiny whispers, sometimes she shouts. of Azeroth. But she hasn't been speaking to me. After all I gave, she left me like this. Unable to feel the warmth of my kin's embrace. Let's be clear. I'm doing this for all of you, not for her. Azeroth, speak to me! What are you trying to tell us? I can hear her voice! I can see it! The place she's calling us to! Where, Magni? Where must we go? It's cold! Magni! He's alive, but barely. The way forward will not be easy. From the moment the dark titan Sargeras plunged his colossal blade into our world, Crucial events were set in motion. Magni Bronzebeard heard the cries of Azeroth, giving up everything to answer her call. Since being wounded by the Mad Titan, Azeroth has been crying out in pain. As her dutiful speaker, he rallied the champions to her aid, and ultimately to confront the return of the old god, Nizar. It was during this conflict that Zalateth a mysterious entity of the Void made a deal with Nizoth, freeing her from the cursed blade that bound her essence within. Honor our bargain. Free me to find my own fate. After she vanished into the darkness, Nizoth was confronted by the mortal champions and destroyed, ending the old god's reign of terror. But they were not the only malevolent force with its eyes set on Azeroth. For soon, the sky was sundered, the Shadowlands split open, and our heroes were pulled into the realm of death itself. Go, champion! Go! It was there that Anduin Rin endured the worst. Captured, tortured, and through dark domination magics, forced to commit terrible acts against his will. I'm afraid that if I call on the light, it won't answer. Scarred and shaken by his experience, he vanished, his whereabouts unknown. After the threat of the Shadowlands had been quelled, the dragons of Azeroth returned to their ancestral homeland. It was here that the primal dragon Iridicron broke free of his prison and in pursuit of vengeance upon the titans who he felt had stolen our world, he secured an ancient, powerful artifact, the Dark Heart. 
when the Titans come to reclaim their prize. I will be waiting. As word of this new threat started to spread, people began experiencing strange visions. The Radiant Song is being heard all across Azeroth. The Consul doesn't know what to make of it. It was then that Illyria Windrunner, a deadly huntress who had harnessed the powers of the Void as a weapon against the darkness, was summoned to investigate. We still don't know what this dark heart relic is capable of, but we do know it's in the hands of someone called the Harbinger. It was not long before Illyria discovered the Harbinger's true identity. Zalatath, the mysterious figure, was once again on the move. While neither Zalatath nor the Dark Heart could be found, her mentor, the enigmatic Locust Walker, issued Illyria a dire warning. The radiant visions you spoke of are the very same my people had before our world was consumed by the Void Lord Dementius. Could Zalatath be seeking that same fate for Azeroth? You must find a way to stop her. If you cannot, then Azeroth is already doomed. What would you ask the Daughter of the Sea? A single spark can set the world aflame. I know what must be done. Hopefully we can revive him. Meet us in Dalaran when you're able. He tried to commune directly with Azeroth. It seems the strain was too much. Oh, da. What have you done to yourself this time? We will defend Azeroth together. Remain vigilant. It is a world of wonder. Best mind your manners in the presence of a queen. Mind yourself. Oh, you'll likely find Dagrin with his nose in a book. It's why he insisted we come to Dalaran. Mia. Now, listen, you old coot. I know you always meant right by me. You didn't know that I chose to stay with the Dark Irons. That Dagrin and I were in love. Whatever your intentions were, my husband died because of you. I hated you for taking him from me. My anger built a wall neither of us could ever get through. And now, we may never get the chance, but my son, my little Dagrin, he needs you. I guess so do I, loath as I am to admit it. You were never the best father. But you can still be a good granda. So please, wake up. Have you seen these new tomes, Uncle Bran? They must be from Drenton's library. The answers are here. I can feel it. The truth is out there. I hope Granda's all right. I never got to spend much time with them. Don't worry, lad. Magni's made of stern stuff. Uh, pardon the pun. Get down to business then. You may take your leave. 
The three hammers stand as one. Ah, good to see you. Always happy to help. Be mindful of your duty. We have reasonable prices. My goods will serve you well. <laughs> Ragnaros threatened to swallow Azeroth in flame. No wonder she remembers him. <laughs> Azeroth's memories are gathering to arms. Azeroth's memories are ours. Ragnaros returns. Brace for battle.
Stick with you, but this is a bridge too far. These echoes must be contained. I can do that.
Nexia, the brood mother of the Black Dragon Flight. We must take her down.